man convicted of killing two women by setting them on fire during a Lake Wales robbery will let a judge determine his fate in a second murder trial. Leon Davis is also accused of killing two clerks outside a Lake Alfred convenience store. Our John Thomas is live in Polk County now with more on how things played out this morning. Good afternoon, John. Good afternoon. Yeah, really kind of bizarre situation this morning. They had originally set aside about seven weeks for this trial, three weeks for selecting a jury potentially. Well, it caught everyone off guard, everyone in the know, like the bailiffs and ourselves, that when the judge came back into the courtroom and he tells all the potential jurors there, 150 of them, hey, you can go home. You were summoned down here in anticipation of a jury trial for Mr. Leon Davis, who is charged with two counts of first-degree murder. 150 potential jurors set to go through what was expected to be anywhere from a week and a half to a three-week jury selection process. Why so long? According to the court, all the publicity surrounding Leon Davis in the last four years. Davis is on trial for the execution-style murder of two clerks at a BP station near Lake Alfred in December of 2007. But he's already been convicted and is sitting on death row for the brutal murders of two women, duct taping them, dousing them with gas, and then setting them on fire during a robbery at an insurance office in Lake Wales, also in December of 2007. So it was felt it would take some time to seat a jury of 12 with alternates. But according to Circuit Judge Donald Jacobson, Leon Davis... After a long discussion with me, with his lawyers, has chosen to give up his right to a trial by jury and be tried by me alone. And so a jury of his peers will not decide his fate. And judging by those we spoke to leaving the courtroom, the court may have been right all along that it was going to take a very long time to seat a jury who did not know of Leon Davis. Yeah, I, I knew a little bit. Not a lot, but I knew a little bit. Probably enough to disqualify you, you Probably, think? probably. I think he's guilty. In fact, I'm pretty like 90, 90, 90, 100% sure he's guilty. And so I couldn't be impartial. <laughs> So where do they go from here? Well, at 1 o'clock, they're coming back in, the attorneys and the judge, and they're going to figure out, okay, when this trial is actually going to start. When are they going to call the first witness? When are they going to have their opening statements? Again, that's going to happen this afternoon. When that happens, I'll bring it to you on abcactionnews.com and on ABC Action News starting at 5 o'clock. In Bartow, John Thomas, ABC Action News. Back to you. Thank you. The state attorney and the defense had one last shot today to prove their case in the murder trial of Leon Davis. The Polk County man is already on death row for another gruesome murder. Our Ryan Raish is live in Bartow tonight for us with what the attorneys tried to nail home today in closing arguments, Ryan. Yeah, Jameson, closing arguments wrapped up a little bit earlier today, and the attorneys really walked through every step in this timeline of the case that really dates back about five years ago to December 2007. But it appears Leon Davis will only have to wait another day to learn his fate. Approaching the finish line of a nearly three and a half week long murder trial of Leon Davis, attorneys did one more run through of the evidence. From the bags of clothing, the unique set of tires, to the compelling yet grainy surveillance video, the state focused in on the murder weapon that was never found, similar to this revolver. The reason that Mr. Davis bought that firearm was to go rob the B diesel. When the robbery went sour, the state claims Davis used the gun to shoot the two clerks. These two men were executed where they stood. The gun plays a major role in this trial because it's one of the ways the state linked Davis to the shooting. Crime scene investigators determined the same weapon was used in a robbery a week later at this Lake Wales insurance office. Here, two women and an unborn child died after being doused with gasoline and set on fire. Davis has already been sentenced to death in that case. Millions of guns out there that have a similar twist, plans, and groups. That's what the facts are. On Wednesday, right before closing arguments, the defense called the defendant himself, Leon Davis, to the stand. For the first time, he told the court where he was the night of the gas station murders. He claims he was shopping at the Eagle Ridge Mall in Lake Wales, but could not provide any evidence to support it. The prosecutor on cross-examination jumped all over him because it's like, well, where's your receipt? You know, you can't prove your store because you don't have the receipt. We just have your warrant. The receipt doesn't prove the damn thing. Unlike most murder trials, this one has no jury. Davis waived that right. Instead, he opted for a bench trial, which means Judge Jacobson acts as the judge and jury. Instead of 12, 
the attorneys only have one man to convince. Now, Judge Jacobson plans to rule on this case tomorrow at 1 o'clock and will be here. And once again, the prosecution plans to seek the death penalty. Reporting live in Bartow tonight, Ryan Raish, ABC Action News.